There's a lot of connections. There's political connections. There's political contributions. And there's she's pursing your lips because she's like, oh, my God, he's like just blowing it up. Like, uh, I don't know if off screen Anthony has a tinfoil hat, but all kinds of things that make you kind of say, gee, that's interesting. What's going on there? Could we really have gotten a fair trial? Oh, my God. It was a wicked barn burner. And I'm talking about the debate yesterday between Anthony Lamakia, real estate broker here in Massachusetts, notable real estate broker, and Michael Ketchmark, the lead attorney in the Bombshell Commission lawsuits hosted by Housing Wire yesterday on the interwebs. Wicked barn burner. Uh, like like you've never seen. Like, I, I, I can't even believe what I just watched. So I wasn't able to get into the beginning of the webinar. I had a personal thing, but I, I was like, I got in like 15 minutes late and I, I was like, this is a train wreck. This is a train wreck. So there's a lot to cover. I've got some notes. And what I first would like to start off with is two clips from the beginning of the debate that I think are fair representations of each side of the story. And then after those two clips, it, it it kind of progressed slowly, but eventually to something that was really unfortunate and ugly, uh, and we're going to cover that in um in today's uh lesson. And by the way, we are talking about the housing wire debate, uh, and here's their headline, their characterization: sparks fly during housing wires commission lawsuit debate. Uh, and it was just it was just absolutely, it was absolutely crazy, cray cray cray. cray. Yeah, uh, to the highest order. By the way, Anthony Lamakia is hosting Crush It in Real Estate uh, event on um, next Thursday in Boston. And I have registered. Anthony, I'm looking forward to going. Uh, it says here, by the way, I'm supposed to get a, uh, this is my confirmation email. It says here that I'm supposed to get a second email to reconfirm. My co I have not gotten that. And uh, I also don't have the like schedule of events. When does this thing start? When's it start? You know, uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, so resend me the um, re I know you watch. So just know now, uh, Anthony, I will be there. John Sears, the president of the National Association, is going to be speaking at the event. This is Thursday in Boston. Uh, so uh, free advertising for you there, uh, Anthony, <clears throat> from my channel. Uh, but I will be there. You've got my reconfirmation uh, right now. So uh, let's take a look at one of the first clips from the debate. Roll it. And what they said to everybody was, we're in danger in the United States. If buyers finally wake up and realize they don't need to have agents anymore, we're going to lose money. And they pointed to places like Australia. So the defendants in our case said, well, go to Australia. So we went there with the defense lawyers. And we talked to an agent who we brought to Kansas City to testify. And you know what's the first thing he said to me? He said, I don't understand. Do you not have the internet in the United States? Do you not have it in Missouri? Why are you doing this? And the reason it's being done is because of these rules that are in place. I have nothing against NAR. I have nothing against any of that. I have nothing against buyer's agents. But what I do think is wrong and corrupt and improper, not just me, a jury, is when you force a home seller to engage in that. Okay, so what we're seeing there is Mr. Ketchmark and Mr. Lamaki are there at the top of the page. Sarah Wheeler is at the bottom of the page. She is the moderator from Housing Wire. And to give Mr. Lamaki uh, his fair time, Let's bring up a quote uh, that was almost immediately thereafter Mr. Ketchmark's statement. Uh, go ahead, Anthony. You know, you really can't say, oh, it's set up and it's rigged because what? A seller decides to offer compensation to a buyer's agent or buyer's brokerage who brings them a buyer. That's a right of any homeowner to offer. And Mike talks about um, money being paid by the other side and this and that. He brings up the Kansas City Chiefs. Hold on a second. Who is Mike Ketchmark to, he didn't become ordained as the um, police of the way commissions are paid in real estate transactions when he became a lawyer back in the early 1990s, okay? This is a free, open capitalist society. Home sellers can do as they please. And if they don't want to hire a realtor, they don't have to. If they want to hire a non-realtor, just a regular real estate agent, they're free to do that. They want to put their home on the internet uh, as an entry-only listing, they're free to do that. He talks about, oh, they're forced to pay the other side. Okay, some of the MLSs had 
a minimum of $1 being offered. Another MLS, it was a penny being offered. A lot of those have gone to zero now. And it, do, do you feel better, Mike? I mean, it really doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Everything that the National Association has done and the leaders of the organization have done has always been with the best interests of the consumer in mind. All right, so that was a fair representation of Anthony's uh, point of view. By the way, in the lower left-hand corner, you see those names. Those are comments uh, by the audience. The audience was by far uh, filled of real estate professionals, real estate professionals by far. And that was uh, noticed by um, Ron Hahn, who writes the uh, very well-known Notorious ROB column. He's also the co-host of the Industry Relations podcast. And this is what he had to say. Rob Hahn here. Um, Dear Housing Wire, please, please, please tell me that no listener watcher on that webinar came from uh, a DOJ email address. (laughs) Right? Uh, It's because... The questions were, were the agents talking openly? They had received instructions at the beginning of the webinar not to talk openly about commission rates. But uh, I did not know, although the comments were flying fast and furious, I did not know that that they had said no commission talk at the beginning of the webinar. No commission talk for for the viewers. It was okay for Ketchmark or Lamakia to talk commissions because that's what the debate was all about, but not for the viewers because that could be somehow construed as uh, some type of additional collusion. So here's another tweet from or post on X from Rob Hahn. I'm I'm so happy that only real estate people are watching the Housing Wire live stream debate on commissions. And uh, some further comments on that. You know you're running out of defense when you pull out conspiracy theories. We'll get to that in just a second. My favorite was in the chat when one said, Michael, God is watching you. Um, Where can I watch this? Well, you can watch this video. Um, uh, um, People see my value. Uh, Embarrassing to say the least. NAR appointed a new rep. This Anthony guy got vicious with his attacks on Ketchman's family. That was nasty. So that's where we're going to get to, to sadly. Later in the debate, there was a what I thought was a moment of sanity where they had a discussion about how this might affect buyer um, clients and whether that this was going to be an improvement for buyers. And I think that's a legitimate point because uh, people have asked me before, uh, Jack, is this going to create a perfect world? No. This is not going to create, there is no perfect world. But overall, I think when you get rid of a monopoly, I think it's a better world, a better world. Let's bring up another quote. Well, when I hear that, it is a money grab. That's what what is money grab. But it's not the plaintiff's attorneys who are grabbing the money. It's the defendants that grab the money. It's the National Association of Realtors that set these rules up. And I really don't think that you mean what you said. What you said is just if you, let's at the premise of our case is that the, that the rules are rigged to stabilize prices and commissions. And so that, the, that when you sell your house, it costs you more money than you would have without this collusion amongst competitors. All right, so that is that is the nut of the case. Let's see what Lamakia said in opposition to that point of view. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull out some like quotes of substance because there really weren't a heck of a lot there was some really, uh, and we're going to get into that in just a second. There was really some, some like ugly context here, uh, maligning uh, the plaintiff's uh, family and the judicial system as a whole. But I wanted to try to cover a little bit of the substance first before we get into that. So let's hear Lamakia's response to this last quote from uh, Ketchmark. As I said, Michael was able to get this case lined up in such a way that it really tied the hands of the defense it absolutely tied the hands of the defense and that had so what lamaki is talking about now is the uh law rules of evidence uh, of the case which has been a major contention of nar they they've had a major objection to be fair this is a good legal point they've had a major objection about the rules of the case the the playing field and how that will be set up a negative impact undoubtedly Uh, He was able to opine about just like he's doing here and preach all these things and talk about money this and money that. 
And that was obviously impactful for them. They were even, the jury, the jury was even given instructions on what specifically they could focus on uh, or deliberate on. They, they weren't even allowed to deliberate in a larger fashion. They, that even got narrowed. And what you said is I had a tremendous advantage in court because the jury was given specific questions they have to answer. That's called a lawsuit. And what they're doing, what the judge does, is the judge instructs them on the law, and the jury is asked to answer the questions on the law. So at this point, things are starting to kind of get a little sideways here, and the moderator decided to step up and remind the gentlemen that they need to focus on the substance of the matter. Here is Sarah Wheeler from Housing Wire. We give value to the listeners when we really stay on point and don't have personal attacks. I agree. So so either one of you thank you for pointing that Anthony. out. Please do not personally attack me, Anthony. Oh, boy. And then then came this from Lamakia. And then I start learning all kinds of things, like how Michael's sister-in-law is a judge in the same court, like how two of the plaintiff's attorneys, uh, Brandon Boulware and Matt Demeron, and their wives are facing. I don't know if you can see Sarah Wheeler's expression on her face, but she's like, I don't think this is the route you want to go down. Facebook friends with the judge's wife. Now, there's nothing illegal about that at all. Oh, man. I mean, <laughs> you're supposed to be arguing the merits, and now you're like impinging uh, or imputing the integrity of the legal. Uh, this is not this is not a good argument. And I'm in no way insinuating that. My but notice the emojis. A lot of the emojis on the screen there, I don't know if you can see those, a lot of them are like, go get him, Anthony. And and what I realized is that Anthony is not looking to sway public opinion writ large. He's actually just looking to uh, get a bigger following amongst the real estate community. Michael is doing anything illegal, but it's interesting. There's a lot of connections. There's political connections. There's political contributions. And there's... She's pursing your lips because she's like, oh, my God, he's like just blowing it up. Like, uh, I don't know if off screen Anthony has a tinfoil hat, but all kinds of things that make you kind of say, gee, that's interesting. What's going on there? Could we really have gotten a fair trial? How was it so decided so early that it was going to be a per se case? How was it decided so early that the defendant's hands were going to be tied? And I got tired of hearing about all this stuff and not seeing it get out in the public. And that's why I decided to do the videos that I've done. And I don't regret that. And I don't regret being here today because I think the public and the realtor public needs to know some of these details in the back room, uh, in the background about the courthouse, some of the players here, the judge, the, the senators. The Catch Mark's smart enough at this point to realize that Anthony's digging himself into a major, he's getting all wound up and getting off message. Right. And catch Mark smart enough at this point just to kind of like let it go. Uh, let him dig his own hole. Were the governors that um, Michael made large contributions to. And Michael, if I'm wrong, please clarify any political. Oh, no, you're wrong, but I will. I'll clarify but, but when you're done. I'll you are connected you're to done. these people. You're, you're essentially helping governors get in. And then the governors have something to do with getting the judges in. And then the senator, Senator McCaskill, did a great speech about your sister-in-law. She's obviously very talented. She's a very um, um, impressive figure, became a judge. She's in the courthouse. So I'm looking at this saying, is this catch marks courthouse? If you want to make a cogent argument for or against, and in this case, against the jury verdict, this is not the road you want to go down. There's a tremendous amount of misconceptions that Michael is peddling out, peddling out of the media, both um, when he's on interviews, wherever he's doing it, he's constantly undermining what realtors do, undermining the value of a real estate agent, a realtor, whichever you want to say, and it's completely ridiculous. All credit to Housing Wire for pulling this event off, this debate, this joint appearance. Remember, it was supposed to occur. Some type of version of this was supposed to occur at Inman Connect until Brad Inman pulled the plug on that after his attendees went bonkers and they didn't want Catchmark at the event. And then Ricky Caruth was going to interview Catchmark on Ricky Caruth's channel. But Ricky Caruth is an affiliate of EXP and Catchmark is suing EXP. And so Ricky finally figured out, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. And he deleted the videos. And I actually called Mr. Catchmark's office and invited him on this channel. He never called me back. Yeah, yeah it was Jack Gately, really. Uh, so that's OK. So but credit all credit to Housing Wire for pulling this event off. I don't think the general public learned a lot about 
the pros and cons. I don't think the general public did that uh, because they didn't attend. And yeah, they're not, this is not on the radar screen for them. But I think we learned a lot about the players. All right, I'm Jack from Jack Eatley Real Estate and the Online Real Estate Academy. By the way, Anthony, I am looking, I have Thursday, February 1st, marked off on my calendar for Crush It in Real Estate in downtown Boston. I need the schedule of events. We will see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Go make some money.